Hi everyone, it's Tess Sleem here. In my last video, I was talking about how getting present through dance, like dance is one of the best ways to get present and also about all the benefits of being present. Some of you might really appreciate that and you know all these powerful ideas behind being in the moment. But some of you might have been thinking, and I am I can completely relate, well, maybe I don't want to actually be present. Like right now, what I'm going through, maybe you're thinking, you know, it's painful. Like maybe you're going through something that's physically painful or emotionally painful. Or maybe you are physically in a place that you don't want to be in or a situation that you don't want to be in. So actually being present is not something that makes you feel comfortable or is not the choice that you would prefer to have. Also, we hold a lot of memories in our bodies. So being present, the fact that that means you're in your body rather than in your mind or thinking about the past and the present. A lot of times what we've experienced in the past has actually taught us that being in our bodies is not safe. And that's not where we're going to feel the most comfortable or protected. So our protection mode can be actually let's zone out and not be present, get on our phones, watch TV, escape to something, anything other than being present. And part of this also involves our inner critic. Like if we are criticizing ourselves for not being where we want to be right now, like in the job or in the relationship or in, you know, having the money or whatever it is that you're looking for right now, we can put ourselves down for not having achieved what we want to by this time. And that can actually affect our ability to feel like we deserve to take up space, to be here, to be present in the moment, to actually have our bodies take up space. We, our inner critic can often tell us like, actually you need to make yourself small and be quieter or be less, um, less, less present because when you do make yourself more present or you take up more space, you're actually going to get more hurt again or um, you are not good enough to take up that space or go out there and do something like risky in that. It's, it's safer to just be complacent and in your own little bubble. And while I was thinking about this, I thought, wow, to me this is actually more of a reason to do something like dance. Because we actually all deserve to take up space. We came here, I believe, to have a purpose. And all our purposes can be on all different levels. And none of them are better or worse than the others. But we came here in a physical body to take up space and to act out or go through the purpose that we were meant to be here for. And I'm sure that none of us were actually meant to play small and kind of hide out in this bubble and say, okay, well, actually we don't deserve to go out there and do something a little bit more courageous and more um, expansive. And when I have experienced dancing, especially in partner dancing, but I'm sure this can happen, happen in individual dancing as well. I have been so amazed at how people actually physically have been able to create space where there looked like there was none. So this is on so many different levels, but I'm going to start with just like literally being in a place where it's like crowded a crowded dance floor. I've been to so many amazing festivals and, you know, salsa, kizomba, like tango, milongas, where it looks like there's no way to move in this place. Like, 
I would look at it from outside and be like, why am I even here? Because I'm going to get stepped on. Um, people are just going to be shoving. And, and most of all, I'm not going to be able to dance because there's no space to move around or do any of the movements. Like it would just be like slow dancing with each person that I dance with because there's no place and no space to move around. But actually, once I got in there, something really interesting happened. Like space just started opening up. And not because I was in there and people started moving out. But there was like this energy of you can actually create space through your ability to take up your own space in your body. You can create space around you once you decide that you deserve to take up space here and now. I've seen dancers who in these crowded dance floors will go out like, you know, big salsa festivals where someone will go out and just be in this crowded space and they own where they're at physically and probably, you know, in the depth of their like understanding about themselves and they, they feel deserving of taking up that space. And then they start dancing and the movements that I thought that they would never be able to execute would start happening. And it's not because they were shoving anyone or kicking anyone or, you know, finding a space outside of the dance floor in a dance event. They were right in the middle. And I was like, how do they do that? And at the time, I didn't realize that it was an internal thing as well as an external thing. Internally, it was like, I feel, I believe that these dancers had enough experience with dancing and understanding the depth of dancing to really be centered in their body and, and to understand that actually being in, opening up that space inside of us also helps us to open up space around us and it there was nothing aggressive about it there was nothing pushy or um, arrogant about it it was just it actually made it inspired me to like I was like I want to be able to do that and I realized that I didn't want to just be able to do that in my dancing world I also wanted to know how to do that in my outside of dancing world. And I started linking these concepts together. I started realizing that actually because I was, you know, insecure or had was holding on in my body to experiences where I didn't feel good enough or I felt um, scared to, to, be more spontaneous and be more free and maybe I was holding um, memories of things that actually maybe I tried to be like that and I thought I made a fool out of myself or I got rejected or something like that I was making myself small inside but there's something really interesting about dancing it's like it moves things inside you that you don't even sometimes know that you've been holding on to for so long and that stuck energy that you know got you rigid and made you fearful can actually in a really safe and comfortable way start moving inside you so that you find places and spaces where you're like oh I can do this I can I can experiment with this, I can try this, and actually being in my body doesn't feel so unsafe. And you start attaching fun and pleasure and comfort and safety to these, these movements and these experiences. And 
then you can actually build on that by realizing that the space that you're creating inside yourself can also help you remind yourself that you can take up space in your life. You deserve to take up space in your life. And I feel like actually the more that we do this, the more our inner critic gets smaller. Because we're telling our inner critic, like, I know that you are trying to protect me. And maybe we needed that in the past. But actually now, we came here to do something. We came here to take up space. Like, we have a body. We have a physical body. And we're here to be here now with it. And to be expansive. And it's okay to, to take up space. And to show up in the body, in the present moment, and to allow the space around us to move us so that we feel safe and inspired to go out and actually say like, I'm here. I came here for a reason and I'm showing up. And I'm going to experience what's around me right now rather than escaping to somewhere else because I deserve to experience the opportunities that show up around me.